With us now after the ball game is Sox Center head coach Scott Bergman. Coach, I'm sure you knew how good Minnewaska is, and they are a good team, but how did you get that win tonight? Yeah, you know, they are a good team. I mean, they've had three convincing wins, beat a really good bold team um, by double figures. So um, we knew going in it was going to be a really, really tough game. Um, I didn't think we played great, um, and a lot of that obviously is because of the, the opponent. Um, but but I, called it, I called it a toughness win in the locker room. I thought we, we, we toughed it out. We got some big rebounds when we needed to, some big stops when we needed to, some big baskets when we needed to. Um, yeah, I was, I, I was um, you know, you think back to the, the last inside of a minute, TJ, I, that, that layup was in for crying out loud, and then it comes out. And I thought Avery was going to go hit a couple free throws, but um, we, we got a good stop at the end. And um, this was a good week. I thought Tuesday in West Central we played our best game tonight. I don't think it was our best game, but it was our biggest win. So um, a fun week. You know, you're going to see this, and it's nothing new for teams to try to shut down Sierra Corton. What were they doing, and how did you try to counter that tonight? Yeah, you know, the, the, they were alternating early with a with, – it looked like a box and one, and then sometimes they'd match up. And then the second half, you know, they got some girls in foul trouble, so they just decided to match up the whole time. Um, you know, I got after Sierra at halftime a little bit. I thought she lost some composure in the first half and maybe got a little bit frustrated at times. Um, but, but, but she kept her cool and – um, got some big buckets and some free throws, and um, you know she did what she do, does well. And, and, and TJ had a nice game, and you know just a lot of girls did. You know even though they didn't necessarily score, did a great job. I thought Avery Reeland had a nice game, hit some big shots, played some good defense. Um, you know Jenna Riley has really come on as of late, and um, had a, had another solid game. So Ellie Herikoff got some big rebounds and blocks. Um, so just, just everybody contributed. But who you haven't mentioned, the little spark out there, was Kaylin Suflo. Yeah, you know what? Um, i got to be honest. I've been struggling with, with, with what to do with Kaylin as far as, as how to divvy up her halves. I mean, we, we tell her she's going to play three halves uh, a night. Um, and, and tonight, <coughs> the la- this week she played both halves of the JV and then um, the second half of the varsity, and she came in. And you're, you're right, she sparked us. Uh, she had a big three. She got some. She played really good defense. Got some good assists. Um, so um, th- that was fun. I mean, a, a big credit to Kaylin. I mean, she could have. You know, we, we talked about how don't take this as a as a demotion playing two has a JV. We want you to get minutes. And she just dug in and, and really played well. You know, as you mentioned, TJ, that's Tori Jennison. You watch her play, and uh, as a fan, it's like we expect so much out of her. But she is doing a lot of things. Can you? kind of describe on her play right now yeah first of all she gets pounded down there all the time I mean um, she draws a lot of attention and um, no I mean she's her her game has progressed she made some tough buckets underneath tough catches just to just to to, to convert got some big rebounds and some blocks Um, she she had a really nice game well you know the teams that you end up playing here uh Let's maybe touch on last Saturday against Crosby Ironton. But, uh, again, Sox Center, you face good competition, but you're not afraid of that. And I think, are these girls ready to do that? Yeah, I think so. I mean, uh, you know, it's, it, we, we always think, talk about it's going to get us better at the end. And um, it, it's, a, it's a process. It's a, it's a journey. And, and, you know, again, I thought, uh, I, I thought in the end our, our girls playing in those tough games I thought helped us, um, tonight especially. Um, you know, w- w- there were some situations where I didn't, I didn't think we handled it very well, and, and we got to do that. We got to do better, and we will. We will. And, you know, it's early, and um, you know, we've played five games in a short period of time. So, I'm thrilled that we're, we're going to give the, the girls the day off for, for, for practice wise. We're going to get them in the locker or in the weight room tomorrow morning, and then give them the day off from practice, um, and then have a have a good week. We just got a one game week next week. I, I, I shouldn't say just. It's it's versus Albany. Um, but, you know, I, I thought that, uh, you know, I, I think we're off to a good start. You know, as you mentioned, a, a tough team and not afraid, but uh, here comes Albany. How good are they going to be this year? They are phenomenal. I, I, they've, they've got it all. Um, you know, they, they, they bring pretty much everybody back from a team that, that got second in the state last year. Um, you know, this is – 
I don't want to put pressure on them, but this is their year because I mean they they bring everybody back. They got a they got a couple college plit level players, and you know what I appreciate about Albany is is they just go out and play hard. They're not trash talking or anything like that. Like like teams that are that good, a lot of times they 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 let you know and, and they don't. They just play and that's that that means they're they're, they're well coached. Um, and, and so I'm looking forward to the challenge, seeing seeing where we're at. Um, I know they played Holding Ford. Tuesday night, and I think they're up by 40 at half against a team that I think is pretty darn good. So, um, no, it'll be a big challenge, but, you know, that's what we're all about. Well, you know, hey, go out there and play. That's what you're here Absolutely. for, Absolutely. Right? You better all believe right. it. Say, I just wanted to mention, too, I, I noticed that you have a new assistant coach this year with uh, Michael Nava yeah. with the team. Uh, what will Michael bring to not only girls basketball but to Sox Center Athletics now? Yeah, you know, he's going to coach three sports, which is huge, um, you know, and, and – and, specifically for our program um he's he's a, he's a worker he, he he studies the game um he's a detail guy so you know we're we're fine-tuning some things and um no he's been a great addition and, and i just i just enjoy working with him and and um looking forward to, to how good we can get with with him coming along you know i think we should mention too just his work in the weight room right correct yeah no he's he'll be leading our team in the weight room tomorrow and <laughs> You know, he, that's going to be a big thing. And, you know, I, I, I can already see it with, you know, a, a gal like TJ. Um, you, you can see that she's gaining confidence on the floor because she's stronger. And that's a, a, a part of that, a big part of that is her work in the weight room. You know, I want to expand maybe just for a second, too, with especially girls lifting weights. They need to do that, don't they? Yeah, they need to get stronger. And, you know, not bulky or anything, not, not to slow them down, but <coughs> they, they need to get stronger and, and that makes them quicker. And gains confidence as well.